Just like with any appliance or operating system, updates and maintenance are a fact of life. Think about why we take our cars to the mechanic. Cars are complex. Hi, I'm Michael from Veeam. With Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure, you don't need a mechanic. You can handle updates and maintenance yourself. In this demo, I'll show you how to diagnose common issues and keep your appliance up to date with ease. Okay, so as you can see here, we have our overview and you can get some a good 40,000 foot view. You can see our session logs here from all of the different backup jobs. Remember, there is a filter on most of these pages as well that give you the the status and allow you to drill down into a lot of those jobs or policies that we have, have created. Equally, you're going to see some red, you're going to see some error. That's going to give you the ability to see what that looks like, see the copy message as well. You can take that and then start to interact with support maybe or whatever that needs to be. Equally, we have a configuration backup. This is what's going to get you back to the point in time if something bad happens to the appliance or you have to redeploy an appliance. From a licensing point of view, you can see what we've used. So here we've used six licenses and equally you can see your support information. Links to the help center, documentation, etc. what versions you're on under updates and equally the download logs is there. Equally the bell notifications up in the top right hand corner, you can see here that we have we have a Veeam updater. You can see we're a little bit out of date. So we're we're going to go ahead and we're going to update everything. And we're going to reboot automatically if, if need be. It's going to warn you of any policies that are going to run at that time. We're okay with that in this demo environment, but you might not be. So take that, that warning. We could have a look at the what's new. And a lot of this, clearly, it's operating system, it's Linux kernel updates, etc., Postgres updates. So it's going to be taken from their release notes as to what is coming. So you can see exactly what we're updating. If we uh, just take a look under VBR, so Veeam Backup and Replication, you can see that we have all of our, our backup jobs listed under here. Now to manipulate any of them, you're going to come back into, into the into the appliance itself. But at least from a VBR admin or a Veeam backup admin, you're going to at least see them. So if we click on that restore to Microsoft Azure, it's going to open up the console that we've been working in previously. But you can see at least how many restore points we have for each of these. I will get into the next demo where we talk about the options when it comes to IaaS or VM backups and what we can do with those. So let's speed things up through here. Installing those packages, finalizing the update process. It's then going to reboot. But it will keep refreshing. So if you just have this page up and come back to it once that's that appliance is, has bounced, then you'll you'll be back in back in business. Okay, so that's automatically logged back into that Veeam updater. It's going to check for any other updates. There might be double updates as it were. But I know in this instance we're going to be we're going to be all good and we're going to be completely up to date after this this update. System is up to date, good stuff. We can see the history of all of those update procedures that we've that we've taken taken care of. Equally, from a configuration of that, if you're going through a particular network, you might want to configure that proxy server to go through a particular firewall and, and network settings. Now here, back in the appliance, we might just want to hit refresh on that, and that's gonna bounce us back into the appliance. And that's it. You're now a certified Veeam backup for Azure Mechanic. Keep an eye on notifications to stay on top of system updates, OS patches, and more to keep everything running sl smoothly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.